Welcome everybody to the second lesson of the French horn course for beginners. In this lesson I am going to be talking about buzzing and mouthpiece warm-up exercises. Let's get started. I would first like to talk about buzzing and before I show you how it's done I would like to talk a bit about what it is and what is the purpose of it and uh, what does it contribute uh, to learning horn and your technical skills. I have to say that buzzing only on your lips is quite a lot heavier than even buzzing on, only on a mouthpiece. With buzzing there is one really big benefit. You cannot cheat. With buzzing, if you can buzz those notes or just on your lips, it's pretty much guaranteed that you could play that also on the horn. Enough talking, I'm gonna show you one exercise which uh, here in the Netherlands we call the Max Verstappen exercise. Basically a uh, buzzing exercise from really low notes to really high and you kind of imitate a Formula One car. <laughs> So as you saw, the, the lower notes are the funniest. Those low notes are super easy to buzz because you don't really require that many uh, facial muscles to, to do that. But once you go higher, and as you saw in these different steps where I was kind of switching gears, you see that the, the corners here start to get tighter and tighter. The very high notes are the hardest. And uh, a very important thing about buzzing, what you need to know, is that uh, you really need to do the jaw a lot forward. The jaw is what controls the angle of the airstream. The most efficient and healthiest way uh, to play horn is that the airstream is aligned with the bore of the mouthpiece. The, the bore is the small middle hole inside the mouthpiece and it focuses the air into the horn itself. If your jaw is not into the right position, the air, uh, the air stream that is coming out of your lips is not going to be aligned with the bore and it's going to bounce around the cup and at some point it is going to go through the mouthpiece, but it will create a lot of resistance and the sound will not be focused. The easiest notes to play in this sense is the middle register. And if you go higher and if you go lower, the jaw needs to start going forward. So now I'm going to show you a couple of exercises which you can use to warm up. Now let's go on and talk a little bit more about mouthpiece warm-up exercises. These exercises I personally do every time before I start to practice and I find them very beneficial. I find that buzzing on a mouthpiece is the easiest. It's a great way to warm up your uh, facial muscles after you warm up your breathing system. Uh, buzzing on a mouthpiece is basically the same as playing on a horn. What I would recommend you to do is buzz on a mouthpiece and at the same time play the notes on the piano. In this way you're going to learn uh, how to intonate well, you will learn how to listen, and uh, by training your ears it will give you better intonation and it will teach you how to focus your sound.
This is the easiest exercise, uh, which I do myself and I do also with my students. At the very beginning, uh, make sure that you uh, stay only in the range of one octave in the middle register and uh, also on the mouthpiece. When you go higher, the jaw has to go forward and you will feel there is a certain, there is a certain point where the uh, angle just feels right and, it's, uh, and it sounds great and it's also quite easy to play those notes. The same goes for also playing lower, the jaw has to go forward. The only difference is that the, the jaw goes also a lot lower and forward. Also the mouth cavity and the throat has to open up a bit more. So you have a bit more room for resonance and a large quantity of air. Now I'm going to show you two exercises which are great for uh, practicing uh, buzzing low on a mouthpiece. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the basics of the embouchure. And the embouchure itself uh, is, has to be something between a smile and uh, if you would say mm. Make sure that the corners stay tight so the air doesn't escape through here. The embouchure is controlled by the ring muscles here which come together at the corners here. So when you, when you just start playing the horn, don't be alarmed that the sound quality is not that good. That is completely normal and uh, you just need to uh, practice and you need to build up your, your facial muscles. And the more you practice, the easier it's going to get. And uh, if you saw one of my vlogs before, what does it take to learn how to play an instrument? During my bachelor studies, uh, there was something my swimming coach said once, uh, which has stuck to me. He said, the first 10 years are the hardest. One more tip, what I can say about buzzing on your lips and on, on, on the mouthpiece. This is also really beneficial if you go on holidays, for example. Just bring your mouthpiece, basically. It doesn't cost any space and you can buzz 5-10 minutes a day. It will uh, not completely maintain your condition, but it will not uh, degrade as fast as if you would not play at all. Thank you for watching, I hope my tips will help you. And in the next lesson I am going to be talking about how to start playing on a horn, how to make a decent sound. I'm going to be talking about attack and what goes on in your body when you're playing the horn.